logging in a complex and distributed system like Kubernetes is a must. One of the tooling stack for Kubernetes login is Promptail, Loki, and Grafana, or PLG in short. Promptail is an agent that ships the logs from the local system to the Loki cluster. Loki is a horizontally scalable, highly available, multi-tenant log aggregation system inspired by Prometheus. It indexes only metadata and doesn't index the content of the log. This design, decision making, makes it very cost effective and easy to operate. Loki is like Prometheus, but only for logs. Loki differs from Prometheus by focusing on logs instead of metrics. And delivering logs via push instead of pull. Grafana is a visualization tool which consumes data from Loki data sources. So that was a short introduction what PLG is. Now let's do a hands-on demo as how could we install this PLG stack in our Kubernetes cluster. For Kubernetes cluster, I am using AWS EKS as my cluster. And there are, free pre, uh, there are few prerequisites which, should, which, which you should make sure to have installed before you try this demo in your own environment. So make sure that you have a Kubernetes cluster running. And then if you're running AWS EKS, make sure that you have a Fargate profile which is running with a namespace where you will be installing this PLG stack. You should also have latest versions of kubectl, hamcli, and also ekscl CLI installed. Okay, the first thing we need to do is to create namespace for this Loki. So let me first do the namespace for this PLG stack. So I'm simply using the kubectl command to create this namespace. Namespace has been created, which is good. Next, I'm going to add some Grafana repos to my ham. I believe that is already there because I did this experimentation earlier, so that is all good. But just for the sake of completion, let me also update these ham repos, and it is going to update all of my ham repos. So that's done. Now I am going to deploy the Loki stack in my Loki namespace, which we just created. And it is a familiar hem upgrade install command, which is installing this Loki stack in my Loki namespace, which is specifying with dash and Loki option. So it says that it is it doesn't exist. It is installing it now. So it will be creating a lot of stuff behind the scenes, such as deployment pods, uh, stateful sets, that is all done. Now let's check what exactly is now present in our new uh, namespace, Loki. So as you can see, we have some daemon sets, deployments, replica sets, stateful sets, and few of the services. Now check what is the status of pods here in this namespace. So these pods are still in the pending state. Let's check their events to make sure that there is no issue with the pods. So let me first check the first pod. The describe command. Okay, so I don't see any errors there. And the thing is stuck. There's only one warning which we could ignore, which is fine. Now let's check the other pod. Let me copy this for name and my namespace name is Loki. Okay, again, there is only this warning, nothing else is here, which is good. So let's check the status now. So I um, know from experience that this take around two to three minutes to complete. So I'm going to enable the watch flag on it and just wait until it is in both in ready and running state. So as you can see, it is almost two minutes now and it is still in pending state, which is fine. We will wait for it to finish. So as you can see, while we were waiting, it is already creating the container. 
for the uh, for both of the ports now and as you can see for the loki stack rufana we have two containers but for the loki stack zero we have only one container and as we are waiting uh, the loki stack zero is now in running state and but it's not ready yet so we need to wait for these pods to be both in ready and running state now the loki stack grafana is also in running state but it's not ready so let's wait uh, until they both become in the ready state so loki stack grafana is in running and ready state which is great so let's wait for the loki stack zero pod it shouldn't take too long now and once that's done all we need to do is to just go and verify it so it's fairly simple to install this plg stack all you need to do is to fulfill those prerequisites create the namespace and then just deploy this temp package from m repo and you're all set to go and so as you can see both are good now so let's double check yep so both are running in ready state which is great now retrieve uh, next step is to retrieve the password to log log into the grafana dashboard and we need to obtain the secret from this loki stack grafana and we will be decoding it to base 64 so this is our base 64 decoding uh, which is good i will just copy paste it in some text editor to make sure there is no special characters once that's done we need to port forward uh, this Grafana dashboard so that we could access it from, from our local laptop. So I'm going to execute this command to port forward it. Okay, this is great. Now just make sure you have your earlier secret handy. Go to your browser and in the browser you need to access your uh, local host with the 3000 port. So I'm going to access my browser on localhost 3000 and so it is giving me a cool grafana dashboard so my user is admin and the secret will be which we obtained from our kubectl command press login and so this is our grafana dashboard everything looks great now just I, because i don't have any data running so i don't think so i'll be uh, i'd be able to show you any data but just to give you an idea go to explore on left hand side and then make sure that your loki is selected from here which is and then uh, for example if you collect a stream named host for all your incoming logs then you could write a query here in this query text field and then run query and it will show you all the logs but because as i mentioned i don't have any logs here so it won't be possible for me to uh, show you everything here so that's pretty much it um, to do the installation of plg stack now once that's done go back to your uh, terminal and cancel this and to clean up, all you need to do is to run this ham uninstall Loki, Loki stack so that you don't end up costing money. So I'm just uninstalling this Loki stack. Once that's done, all I need to do is to just delete that namespace. So this is uninstall, and then I'm going to delete this namespace. So all done there. Namespace has been deleted. That's a the screen, so all good. I hope this has made sense and this was helpful. If you have any questions, any feedback, please feel free to reach out. Thank you very much. Bye.